to scare your friends, share this video with them. And you can learn this amazing Halloween fun with just a 15 lines of code. So let's get started. Before getting into the detail, please please like this video and share with your friend. Otherwise, grandma will come to your house and scare you. And obviously, to get started any Python project, you will need Python installed in your computer. And also, you will need a Python code editor. And in our case, we will be using a PyCharm. And we will name it like Halloween or some other name you could prefer to use. And since we would be building this sound music and some images would be there, there are many different ways you can build it. But in our case, we would be using Pygame. So Pygame is a game engine that you can use to build amazing game. And in this case, we would be creating a Halloween prank. And first of all, we will take everything available here and just delete all of them. And we'll go to the terminal and install a package is called like a pip install pi game and this will take literally few seconds for the pi game to be installed in your computer and then we will definitely import pi game to be used in our project and also we would be using a uh, time so we will say like a from time we want to import sleep so we will know why we need to sleep a little bit in our code so once you'd be using Pygame in your project, the first thing you need to do is to initialize it. And a short form of initialization is in it. And then you can create a window to be displayed in your application. And for that purpose, you can declare a variable and maybe we will uh, close this dude and we have like more space. So window, uh, you can some people give it a name like any screen or blah 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 but we would be using it would be like a pi game and then display would be calling the display and we will set mode and here you can uh, do few things and the first thing we'll say like a where it will uh, start so it'd be like a zero zero and you can have some specific length and width but in our case we will be using the full screen so it will covering the whole is available screen. So pygame dot, if you start typing full, you will get the full screen. So after that, uh, you can uh, try to run it or you can do maybe a, like a sleep. That means you want it to wait for like a three second or five second, whatever the seconds it we want to in, uh, wait, maybe like a three second for now and you run it, you will have a, just a very nice blank skin for three seconds to be available. And after that, it would be stopped and come back uh, for you to write some coding. So, but this is not all fun. You need like a little more fun and that's why I will share you some uh, resources so I would be using some audio files and images so I just copy this one and you can uh, put in your project in our case here is our project I can just right click on it and then select show in Explorer so this will open the projects and I will just right away paste it here so i have some uh, audio files as well as some images so first we will use this uh, red sun or rata sun or whatever you call it uh, that uh, audio file and we would like to play that audio or music a soothing music right and to do that we will need to import a mixer so we'll call like a hey pi game i know you have a mixer so you need to initialize this dude so you said okay i can initialize it if you just request me and by using the mixer you can actually load and play music here so all you need to do is to pi game and then call the mixer uh, and then call the music of it and then load any audio file in our case we can start writing this rata san or whatever the name and we are just loading it and the next thing we need to is to play it so playing is super easy call pi game mixer and then music and then play as simple as that and after that your music would be played for three seconds if you want you can play it for five seconds doesn't matter uh, so we hit the play button and after that you will hear the music playing very nice and innocent music like this is the starting music 
but after that right away you want to get to some kind of like a scary or horror sound right we have that file here too so all we can do maybe we'll let this um, audio playing for five seconds and we'll do exactly the same thing but in this case uh, we will uh, load another file so I can just copy this three line other than typing uh, so I'll just copy this and in this case other than loading rat sun I would be loading the scary.mp3 so now I would be loading the mp3 scary and then maybe I will play for uh, maybe three seconds or one second so let's let's play for like a three second for now and then see how does it go so uh, right now you would have like a very soothing soothing sound and then boom a scary sound so I will play with it and then try to listen it very carefully So this is like a five second it's playing this and then it's three second it's playing this and then your Pi game stops but we would like to use this image as well right so you can easily use the image so what we will do we need to to use any image we need to load that image and loading the image is very simple uh, you can give it any name so in our case it would be like an image and then Pi game and call the Pi game image and to load some image and here also we will just uh, provide the name in our case name is scr.jpg and to display the image you need to do two more thing and here you need we already have the window so on the window you would say like okay i want to uh, transfer this image as a block something like that so all you can do is the like a window and then dot and it's called like a b L I T it's like a block image transfer and you will say like a where the image would be positioned and you can say like a this image that you want to load would be positions at the corner of your window this is like a zero zero is the starting corner of your window and the next thing you need to do is say like okay pi game I want to the display to be updated with this image and after that you like once image is displaying you want to wait few more seconds so all I will do is to like I will say like hey sleep you need to sleep maybe for three more second and to start this image maybe I will just wait one second so if you look the code it's like exactly 15 lines of code or what you are doing here you are uh, importing the pie game using the time just to keep holding or finishing something and then you initialize the pie game you create a, like a, a window to be displayed and then you are calling the mixer mixer is loading your audio file and then you are playing it waiting five seconds and then after five seconds you are loading this scary thing and then you are playing it and you sleep for one second and after that you are, have an image so you want to display the image almost pretty much almost the same time you have the sound and the image so that it has like a dual effect uh, on the person who is watching it uh, and then uh, you display it, uh, display the update and you transfer the image on the window and then you wait and that's pretty much it so now I will be uh, playing the final product so close all the lights you have in your room maybe bring some friend to show some them a interesting video and then play it so let's get started with this run button wow yeah. now i would be shivering like something like this and this is like if you know python and this is like uh, calling some variable have some resources so i will share the uh, all the resources in the description check the description if you watch this video until this point you have to go to the google play store or apple app store and find this awesome app called programming hero so definitely definitely install this app and give us a five star rating so that we can add much more fun content about python and also we are adding much more advanced programming language it's like a c programming language is coming very soon and we are also working on adding much more translation so go to the google play store download this app and give us uh, some good ratings and if you are a rich user iphone user go to the app store and install it 
and if i scare you definitely you should subscribe to this channel because only 14 percent how shame on you guys like you guys only 14 percent of you are subscribed to this channel so hit on the subscribe button hit on the bell button otherwise i will send grandma to scare you every single morning that's all from this video i will see you in the next one